Привіт, привіт, my dear Ukrainian language lovers. My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In this video I would like to tell you more about the Ukrainian names, their formation, especially about the patronymic ones that doesn't exist in English and other cultures. As I have a lot of heritage students who have Ukrainian roots and you have guys Ukrainian uh, family names so I would like to teach you how to write your um, name in Ukrainian way so let's get it started Поехали. so guys I think you remember that you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel like this video and leave your comments about it so Ukrainian name consists of three parts the first one is surname or family name then goes first name and also we have patronymic or father's name so we don't have any middle names so typical Ukrainian surname uh, has such endings as ko like for example boyko, shirko also it can ends in um, enko like poroshenko, shevchenko, timoshenko or ending uk like kravchuk or sopronchuk so my family name is sopronchuk a typical ukrainian one also it can end in uh in like voloshin petri shin uh also um ending yets uh, kolomi yets shvets or if makariv petriv uh what is your ukrainian surname what ending does it have? Please write in the comments below. About the first name, of course, we have typical um, Slavic names. And I uh, have already posted more information about it in our articles uh, on my website speaky.com uh, in the section blog. So I will uh, leave the links more about the Ukrainian Slavic names and uh, nicknames um, uh, to the description of this video. Please check it out. But you can ask me, what about your name, Ina? Ina, it's not actually a Slavic name, it's a um, Greek name and uh, I was named after the church orthodox calendar so I was born on the 30th of June and my mother thought hmm, how can I name my daughter and then my grandma said we have to give her name according to the uh, church calendar so they opened the church calendar and there were three names Ina, Rima, Pima so Pima, I have never heard this name. Rima, it is also very rare one. So my mom decided to pick up Ina. So actually this is the Greek uh, church name. I can say it like this. And there was an, an, a Saint uh, Ina person. So I um, got this name in this kind of way. Okay. And uh, uh, what is the most interesting is patronomic uh, name or father's name as it is clear according to its name uh, we take it from our our uh, father's uh, first name uh, let me explain you how we do it for example uh, my uh, father's name is Victor Victor and uh, it has um, two patronymic names so uh, Viktorovich this is for uh, men and Viktorovna, this is for women. So, how we form it? We take a father's name, and if you are a man, and you are called Viktor's son, so you have to add this ending ovich. So, Viktorovich. This is a male form of the patronymic name. And as I am a woman, and I am Viktor's daughter, so I should uh, add the ending Ivna. So I'm Viktorivna, Victor's daughter. So let me uh, repeat one more time. So all men, when they need to create their uh, father's name, they take it and add the suffix ovich, Viktorovich, Oleksandrovich, Petrovich, Ivanovich. If you are a woman, 
and you need to create the patronomics name, you take the ending Ivna or sometimes Yivna, but in uh, most cases we have this ending Ivna. Viktorivna, Petrivna, Ivanivna, Oleksandrivna. So I would like to ask you to take your name, uh, like your surname, uh, first name, and then take your father's name and add a specific suffix. So if you are a man and you want to say you are your father's son, then please add the suffix ovich. And if you are a woman, then you need to add the suffix ivna to show that you are your do uh, father's daughter. So let me tell you my full name. My full official name is Sopranchuk Inna Viktorivna. Sopranchuk Inna Viktorivna. So I have a Ukrainian name, Sopranchuk. This is a typical surname because it has um, ending uk, Inna. This is not really Ukrainian one, but it is very popular here. And Viktorivna shows that I am uh, Victor's daughter. This is my patronymic name. And in my passport, in all official documents, my name is written like this. Okay, uh, and uh, please write me your full uh, name in Ukrainian way. I would like to check it out. It is very interesting for me. Um, and what I wanted to say... Uh, ah, I wanted to say that um, in Ukraine, when we address to somebody uh, using the formal way, we use somebody's first name and father's name. For example, when I uh, went to school or to university, we addressed to our teachers using their first name and father's name. Uh, so we just had to remember their uh, names and we addressed to them like this. So we don't address like Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Poroshenko or Mrs. Poroshenko in Ukraine. We don't use actually this um, words, but we address to them using their first name and father's name. Here how it wor how it works in Ukrainian language. I hope it was very interesting for you. Please subscribe to my Instagram account Speak Ukrainian Language. Support me on patreon.com. Support my uh, charity store. Buy a t-shirt Save Ukrainian uh, Life. Visit my online school uh, Speak Ukrainian. Speak.com. I do all my work. I do all these video lessons, my charity project, my school everything I do for you. So please let me know what other uh, video lessons would you like me to record for you. So thank you so much. Dzień dobry from Ukraine with love. Your teacher Ina. Papa. Bye bye.